Here we have something that came through some of my grandfather's stuff. It is a summary of the community shelter plan for the University of Maine during the Cold War. Prepared in 1969. Starts off pretty dramatically. In the case of nuclear attack on this country, you and your family need to know where to go and what to do. Which is not untrue, but reveals there are around 42 uh, shelter locations on the UMaine campus. Uh, it was compiled by the Sewell Company and the Orono Civil Defense Agency. Uh, it encourages people to save this map and, and document it. It may save your life. Um, you can pause anywhere, you know, it just tells about what Fallout is, sort of a 101 summary of how generally to protect yourself from Fallout, because in the United States, that was on the uh, head of the individuals, because the government had other priorities, I guess. It gives you a place for your family emergency plan. Kind of expecting you to keep this by the phone book, I guess. Instructions on what to do when you get to a fallout shelter. You know, let the cops direct you, etc. How to improvise one yourself at home. I'm not sure in my review of this that there are any actual maps. That might have been the fold out leaf earlier uh, it just kind of gives you the process of listen to the radio, wait, stay put etc. Oh here it is please don't go looking for these um, I'm sure the humane police wouldn't be very happy with that but in 1969 um, here are the list of capacities rough locations of the fallout shelters on the University of Maine campus. Uh, these look like dorms. I don't know, this this might be an educational hall. I didn't that's not the university I went to. Oh yeah, library. Almost twelve hundred people could fit somewhere in the U Maine library. Um, for faculty staff. Oh the text that is not underlined is who is eligible to, to shelter in the uh, space. University of Murray Hall commuters. I mean, they gave, they gave commuters almost as much space, more space than the locals, which is kind of surprising. And it just kind of goes on to, uh, this portion is more or less the, uh, shelter plan for the town itself. So, if you lived in the city of Orno, and you were on one of these streets, you'd have to go to this university, this location in the university, if the Bowmarks in Bangor ever went off to try to prevent an incoming nuclear attack. Um... Yeah, so if you live in any of these streets, you'd, you'd go to this place. Oh, here we are. This was the letter dated August 29th, 1969, that uh, the director of Solar Defense sent folks living in the city. Kind of a little intro, and lets you know that there is a meeting on September 9th, 1969, at 8 p.m. Don't miss it. Interesting. Um, this shows which buildings have civil defense shelters in them and the names of each building. Like I said, don't go looking for these. It's just kind of interesting that at one point they were there. Although I am pretty sure they have um, the sirens on the top of the library still, Fogler Library. All right, and, and that was it. That was the 1969 fallout shelter plan for the city of Orono, Maine.